Hi guys, how's it going? It's Julian. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be reading an artic another article for the ILTS preparation, in this case for the speaking part. And you know how it works. Basically, uh, the article gives you a topic uh, which emulates uh, a particular question that the interviewer can ask you during the ILTS exam. So, basically, it has a structure, this kind of answers that you must do, to give to the interviewer. To, to get more points or to make it in, in an appropriate way um, and you get a good, a good grade basically so in this case the name of the article is two-way Disco discussion status and vision and I don't know what is this about this article so let's let's go to, to discover it okay okay as always the article emulates the interviewer who, who makes a question and below we have the, the answer. So let's go for it. What kind of things give status to people in your country? And he, he's uh, the question, the answer that we should provide, of course, with your personal backgrounds, right? So what kind of things give status to people in your country? Well, education, wealth, money, large house, car, fame, career are some of the things that give status in our country. Are some of the are are some of the things that give status in our country? I I mess I mess up there a little bit, but doesn't matter. There are some other aspects of status in my country, like luxury, gadgets, political power, expensive dresses, and publicity. However, are are things. However, the things I mentioned before are most prominent aspects of status in my country. For instance, people with higher education and knowledge naturally get a status that others can have. Similarly, wealth, cars, houses, branded dresses, and many other things are often considered as part of people's status in many cases. So it is not unlikely that people with fame and popularity also enjoy a different type of status that mass people can have. Jobs in important government sectors can also have a symbol of status in many societies. And finally, political power, though controversial in some cases, is also a status symbol in my country. Have things changed since your parents' time? In terms of people's status in a society, things have not changed that much between my father and my generation. The status symbol the status symbols I mentioned earlier were almost the same as they are nowadays. Expensive technological gadgets and new brand names might have been added as part of people's status symbol. However, those could be classified as the materialistic achievement which was also present in my parents' era. era. Do you think advertising influences what people buy? Yes, totally. I think advertisement has a huge impact on people's purchasing decision. It is quite natural that people could pick a known brand, branded product that purchasing products from brand names that do not know about. People spend a lot of time in front of their television or computer and they are knowingly and unknowingly being influenced by the advertisements and advertisers. Some advertisements even allure us to purchase products we actually do not need at all. What are the important qualities to achieve our ambitions? Well, I think determination and hard work, in my opinion, are two most important qualities to fulfill our ambitions and goals. Luck often plays its trick. Luck often plays its tricks, but I believe fortune always favors the hardworking and strong-minded people to succeed. To succeed. Apart from that, proper planning, timely execution, expertise, and experience are some of other qualities we need to achieve our goals in life. Are all ambitions good in life? I guess every positive ambition that brings happiness, success, pros prosper prosperity, and well-being of others is a good one. However, are some often driven by our selfishness, greed, and materialistic achievements on any ambition which is aimed to fulfill our personal greed is a bad one. In general, ambitions in our life help us to work harder and give meaning to life and that's why we should have ambitions, positive ambitions, I mean. What type of ambition 
young generation in your country has? Uh, that's a good question. The young generation in our country usually aims for a prosperous career and economic freedom. There are, maybe they want to travel as well. Their ambitions in life also include being someone famous so that people will know them. And for example, being a YouTuber. But being a successful and happy person in later life and having a beautiful and nice life partners. They also want to explore the world and want to see flourishing country in the future where violence and crime would be a thing of past. Would you focus more on achieving your ambition or doing things you love to do? Personally, my ambition in life is quite realistic and not some fun, and not some fun, something we hear in fairy tales only. Being able to do something I love and have passion is not different than my ambition. I want to lead a life that would be surrounded by my family's members relatives, friends, and people I care about. Being able to set up my own business or doing a job that I would feel interested in is both my ambition and, and dream. So basically, that's, that was a pretty interesting article, I guess, because it handles a lot of vocabulary, and the ideas are, are pretty clever, I guess, compared with the other articles that I read before in this platform. Uh, this is one of the best ones. And if you ask for which practice this article belongs, it belongs to the speaking part three, uh, which it is the highest level you can have, you can find in this website to practice, and has like many articles like this to to moving through, to moving through. So, yeah, um, as you can see, these kind of questions ask you to to have a, a an opinion presented in your mind like you must have that opinion in your mind cause or at least some idea about what you want to say otherwise you're gonna be thinking in the moment and you can mess up the whole exam or you can get stuck and uh, it could be kind of uncomfortable for you and for the interviewer and he can realize that you're messing up everything <laughs> or you're getting nervous so it's good. It, it's a good thing to have in mind that these kind of random questions can appear in the IELTS exam to to keep practicing and avoid any bad situation during exam, or at least being prepared that these kind of questions exist during exam. So until now, this video, guys, was pretty nice to to talk to you and read this article with all of you. So have a good one. Take care and see you in the in the next one. Bye bye. No, don't forget to, to subscribe, give me a like, and turn on the notifications to realize when I upload a new video. Bye bye.